Hi everybody, welcome back to Electromechanical Paul and it's Paul speaking. Um, well hopefully you'll um, be getting an uh, upload shortly. You might have already seen about the uh, computer upgrade I done yesterday. Um, well as promised I've got another video of an inverter. I got a small inverter in the cupboard I made myself, only gives about 500 watts output. It's good enough to run a uh, computer and a few other bits and pieces quite honestly, but only just. And I've got some big batteries as well, I power it from, but I see this inverter on the internet and it was only about £20 and it was 1500 watts. Admittedly I bought it not working, but um, as most people can understand, if they know about inv com inverters, there ain't much uh, to go wrong with them. There ain't much inside. Basically it's something like a multivibrator or a bistable circuit or flip-flop as some old people might know it as. Then that goes through some MOSFETs and um, which switch it through the transformer backs and forwards which produces the AC. That's just a bit of an idea of how it works. Um, on the advert on um, eBay, the bloke said that he hadn't had it very long and he put his motor home and it worked for a little while and stopped. Well, I don't know about that because I think I showed you yesterday. For not being very old, this is the base of it. Um, yeah, make your own conclusions out of that. But there you go, £20 for a 1500 watt inverter when I probably be a, probably about £150, £200 for a decent one. There you go. Um, normally what happens is you've got MOSFETs along both sides of here. Here's the heat sinks. Sometimes uh, they've got open circuit, yeah, or short out inside, and they blow the fuses. Well, I've checked all the fuses. There's quite a lot of fuses in here. Um, they're all 40 amps each, and they're all fine. The bloke did say on the advert is... Um, it plugs it in, light goes green, sight works but not quite a lot works, doesn't really come on. Well, I found this plugged into the side of it and I know what this is, it's a remote control so you can push a little zapper button and it starts up presumably. And I think he might have lost that. Well, looking over it, okay you've got a tank coil, um, little receiver circuit there. And um not too short with that chip is. But basically it, it controls through a relay. So all that controls the relay which turns it off and off and on. And probably I don't know if you can see that. Here you've got contacts, common, normally closed, and normally open. I'm not sure if I short the common out to normally open, then that might start this working. But again it might not do. Yeah, as I say I have got a couple of big car batteries. Plus I've got a 10 amp 30 volt power supply which won't do a lot in this I know but it might show a bit of signs of life. Um, which makes it probably takes about 5 amps to start it going anyway. Or it might be less than that I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to bung these fuses back in. Connect everything back up. And I won't short this out yet. I'm going to see what happens. And uh, we're going from there. So I'm going to pause the video now for a little while. I bung all these back in, so plug that in, sort the power supply out, and I'll come back to you and see what see what happens. Okay, see you in a minute. Uh, welcome back everyone. Oops, sorry about that. Um right, I'll show you oh let's turn this light. Um, one second, put this light back on. That's better, isn't it? Right. Um Move this about a bit so you can see it. I've connected that up that end and supply on that end. And I've been on to you, I was a bit intrigued so I turned it on and went crack. I thought, oh, bloody hell, what's wrong with that? Um, made my girlfriend jump and the cat. Cat ran away from me, wasn't very happy. Um, so I've done it a couple of more times, so I see where it's coming from. There's a wire down here shorting out. Um, I don't know if it'll do it now. Just, hang on a minute. 
No. But I sh I'll let you know what's happening. Now be, be ready for this. Be loud crack. One second. Don't do it now, is it? Yeah. There you go. Um, I'll do it again. Yeah. That was happening. And I thought, oh no, what's wrong with it? And um, there's a wire. And I think it's got a bit hot and virtually touching one of the fuses. So what I did do is I, I eased it away slightly. Be a bit careful. Quite a bit of a power in that wire, aren't you? Even though it's all off, I'm being cautious here. There's a bit of a burn mark on the wire, but not a lot, but it like I've been pulled tight. I don't know where it goes to or comes from, mind you, and I'm not going to bother. Right, so there's a way now, and I turned it on. Yeah, it got your bleep. Green light comes on this end, shows it's all okay. Red light comes on, lets you know there's trouble. But I thought, oh, okay, seems good, so turn it off. I plugged my little light into it because it wasn't drawing much current anyway. I think it's drawing probably if not under an amp, under not under load. And yeah, I'll show you. That's working fine. Not a bad little uh, thing for the money. I'll take you off the tripod and give you a look around. Um, sorry about the computer there, right? There's the light, there's the inverter, the green light there, and there's this little dooby firk in here, but I don't know what happened if I unplug it, I'll try and unplug it, but uh, yeah. And that's how much it's drawing, I've got it up to 14 volts, you get a little bit more of an oomph, it should be 13.8, uh, but again if you check a car with an alternator, that puts out about 14 volts anyway on alternator, so you know. And it's drawing 1.74 amps. Not bad, eh? So I'm going to try and load up a little bit more now. Not too much, because I can only get 10 amps out of my little power supply. And so I've got some big batteries outside. But I should imagine that 1500 watts is going to draw all of 100 amps. Right, so let's unplug that. Let's turn it off. Right, get a tick, see what I can find around to plug in. Um. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, that is asking too much. Yeah, that'd be asking too much. I should about to plug a hoover into it, but I think it's asking too much out of a 10 amps power supply. So it looks like you'll find. Leave it in there. Um. Uh, 
sorry about that people, I was going to use my girlfriend's new hair dryer but she said no, which is fair enough. So what have we got here? This might be pushing it a bit, I have a 10 amp supply. Uh, oh, oh, might be too much, let's just see what's going to happen. I've got a feeling the power supply might start complaining. Right, let's just turn the coldness on I think first. Yeah, it's too much current for it. So it's time to get my big my big battery in. So uh, it's going to take me five minutes to get that in. So just a minute. Well, folks, the irony is that, yeah, I've got my car battery in. And I have got a bigger one outside. But um, it ain't very charged up. It's lost its charge over um, probably about three months just sitting outside. So what do you expect? Um, it's slowly reforming itself and building up and at the moment it's... Um, I'll bring this down a tad. 13.8 uh, and it's taking... Yeah, 1.7 amps. Yeah. So um, what I'll do is I'm going to stop the video now, let the back traffic paper charge up and we'll come back to this inverter and see what's happening. Okay, see you in a bit. Oh, and here's the ice cream van. Right, folks, loads of battery about. And, uh, yeah, it works okay. Um, I've got a bit of an arrangement of batteries on the floor. I'll just swing the camera to show you. I've got a few batteries there and my little jump start battery, which I normally keep in the car. So that's normally not too bad charged up. And uh, I've got a 1500 watt hair dryer, which is stretching it a bit, I know. <sighs> Mind you, I don't think the batteries are brilliant. What's this? Let's see what it is now. 1500 watts. Mm. Yeah, there you go. It's been hot as well. <laughs> There you go, working. So there you go. A case of um, a little shorting out wire, a bit of know-how. I've done about this buddy little thing here, this little tank circuit remote control thing, but it's working fine. Yeah. So I've got myself a 1500 watt inverter. So I'm going to do my car boot so I was have it rigged up to the car, obviously with the car engine running. And uh, yeah, I can run my computer and all sorts. Okay folks, thank you again for watching. I do feel a bit better than yesterday. I don't feel brilliant mind you, but I feel better than yesterday. But uh, yeah, please like, subscribe. Or leave a comment if you have one. There you go. So it ain't much to turn. It's basically a flip flop or something or a multi vibrator, which sounds it's done inside an IC so you get a sine wave out. Or it could be done with a couple of transistors. Yeah, they they drive driver transistors which drive the MOSFETs and then they flip flop through the transformer. That's just a cool way of putting it. Alright people, catch you later. Love you all. Bye bye for now.